For the Rhode Island Rams, our student athlete guests are Jared Terrell, E.C. Matthews, Hassan Martin, Curran Iverson, and head coach Dan Hurley. Uh, coach, would you start us off your overall impressions of, of a very well-played game tonight? Yeah, obviously, you know, two, uh, I think two really good teams, obviously two pretty evenly matched teams, you know, um, credit to uh, – a credit to those guys there, uh, you know, especially, you know, Tyler Dorsey, you know, had a, you know, had an amazing game. You know, lost him on some, some rotations. You know, obviously he hit the, you know, hit, hit the big three there uh, at the end. But um, you know, couldn't be prouder. Obviously <laughs> these guys, what they've what they've done for, you know, the great state of, of Rhode Island. Our, you know, our amazing fans. Uh, you know, the, this program, you know, the, these guys to my right, uh, you know, took over or, or came in when, uh, you know, we were uh, not in such great shape and then, uh, you know, took us to, uh, you know, possession away from, uh, you know, from getting to the Sweet 16. So, uh, you know, the men to my right and the guys in the locker room couldn't be prouder of uh, an amazing season for us. You know, conference champions, the run we've been on, the, the heart and, and uh you know, that we showed today in the high level of play, uh, what I thought was amazing. And, you know, listen, we, we lost the game, you know, probably on the offensive glass there, you know, that sequence, not rebounding the free throw and then not re rebounding the miss three, you know, and then, them, uh, and then they hit the three, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, was obviously huge. Um, and then, uh, you know, so the offense glass was, a, you know, was, was a big thing and, and Tyler Dorsey. <laughs> And, um, you know, and then obviously, um, you know, the, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just get outscored at, at the line the way we did minus 12 at the line, you know, in a tight game like that, uh, you know, in a, in, in a one possession game is obviously a big factor. Um, so, uh, but, you know, obviously it was, it was exciting game. It was a game that was great for our program. Couldn't be more excited about our players and, and credit to, uh, uh, you know, to those guys. Uh, they have a, they have a good team. Questions, please. Dan, could you just talk about the bench play and uh, particularly what Stan Robinson was able to give you today? Yeah, you know, we, we have a deep team. Um, that's how we were able to kind of keep our heads above water the whole year. Uh, you know, when the health was a was, was a mess for us, you know, Stan was uh, you know was big time. He's come such a long way, you know, as a player. You know, since he transferred in, you know, this was a guy that I think. You know, he he was changing from lefty to righty at one point in Indiana, you know, and now he's uh, you know, you know, running around hitting jump shot. He was just so aggressive and downhill. Uh, and then you know, obviously Hassan was, uh, you know, he was just struggling physically out there. Uh, you know, his knee's been a problem. His knee was a problem coming out of the A10 uh, tournament. It was it was an issue this week that we tried not to talk about. Uh, but you know, Cyril Langevin. You know, did not probably look much like a freshman. Uh, you know, he was a man out there. Um, you know, so we showed our depth, showed the strength of the program. Dan, Coach uh, Altman gave you guys a ton of uh, credit on defense. Probably said that he said that you guys were one of the best defensive teams they faced all year. Can you talk about um, going into the game? Was your intention to to pressure their guards out front, and and how that really set up the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, the one day prep is tough. You know, I, I you know, we wish we, you know, could have gotten maybe in the in the first game <laughs> out here, uh, you know, because we did we, we, we did lose. Uh, you know, I, th I thought we did a great job on Dylan. You know, Tyler, we did lose on some rotations, and then just uh, you know, I, th I think the lack of prep time. Plus, also too, I mean, you know, you know Dana Altman's a heck of a coach and. Uh, you know, heck of an offensive coach, and um, you know, but I, I thought we, you know, we, we contested th their guards, forced them into, you know, an uncharacteristic amount of turnovers. Um, you know, we just, you know, we didn't do what we normally do in terms of guarding a three-point line tonight, and I, and I think that probably had a little bit more to do with, you know, the greatness of kind of Tyler Dorsey today. For Jared and EC, uh, you guys have had a couple games lately where you had to hold on to a lead. Um, what was different today, maybe that that allowed Oregon to overtake you? Um, I, I don't. I don't have a 
response to that. Um, I just think my guys just came out and just fought their hardest, man. We left it all out there all season. We had our up and downs. Um, but today was was no different. We, we we put everything out there. We fought as hard as we could. Um, just ended up coming up short. Yeah, the difference, the difference in the game there was, you know, Tyler, you know, Tyler Dorsey hit a contested three, and we missed a contested three. Coach, what does a season like this do for the program going forward now? Well, I think, it, you know, what, what it does is, uh, first of all, it's amazing for our, our players. You know, they get a chance to play on a national stage, showcase their talents, uh, you know, w w which, is, which is great, obviously, you know, for our, for our players, you know. Um, the experience has been amazing. I think it's been not only amazing for the coaches and players in terms of uh, making us even more determined to be back up here, you know, on podiums with police escorts and playing in huge games. So it, it, it just, you know, it, it drives that hunger more, you know. And I think, you know, at the university level, at our fan base, you know, I, I just think it, it ignites a fire and, and a desire, you know, for this to be, you know, who we are every year and, and making that, you know, that, that total commitment. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're, I'm lucky to have, you know, an amazing athletic director and, and president in, uh, in Thor Bjorn and Dave, Dave Dooley, you know, that have gotten behind this program. And I'd imagine that, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're going to get behind it even more uh, so that this becomes more of the normal for us. Uh, for uh, over here, for any of the players, how um, I, I imagine now that you have a chance to think about the game, how, how, how hard is it to think back on that possession when, uh, when Bell misses that second, or Ennis misses that second free throw, and they get those couple offensive rebounds, and then get that, that three to tie it up, you guys weren't able to grab that board there. Um, yeah, you, uh, the, the, yeah, you guys first. <clears throat> uh, we just failed to box out um, and just go have just have the will to go get it. Um, we do box out drills every day, so um, it's just something that uh, we should have took advantage of, and we should have just got the rebound, and, and it should have ended at that. But they were able to get a couple more rebounds and get and get two shots up. Um, nah, I really don't have anything else. But that's just it. Yeah, I, you know, th that's, th I think that's, <laughs> that's what makes, uh, th that's the fine line between winning and losing. You know, you secure that rebound. It's a lot easier to play offense down the stretch of games when you have the ball and you're tied, or if you have the ball and you're up three. You know, down three, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. You know, th there's, there's a level of panic sets in, especially when the other team is, is switching everything with the type of athletes and length they have, you know. Uh, we're going to look back on that as coaches, <laughs> you know, probably on this plane ride home tonight. And um, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, it, it probably, that, that sequence probably cost us, the, you know, the Sweet 16. So it's devastating. Uh, Bill Koch with the Providence Journal. Dan, uh, hindsight being what it is, uh, maybe what could you have done to save a timeout for the last minute and, and maybe draw something up there? Can you take us into, you know, how you had to manage the clock with EC coming in and out with foul trouble and, and trying to play offense defense there? Yeah, I mean, I think we, you know, we, we talked about as a staff, I think, you know, when you're playing somebody, the quality of, uh, you know, of Argon, uh, of Argon, excuse me, I've taken a lot of heat for the pronunciation this uh, last couple of days. Um, we need to use the timeouts just against a team of that level just to be in the position that we were in. You know, we, we, uh, would we love to have saved the timeout in case we had the ball, <laughs> you know, with 18 seconds left down three? You know, you're, you're trying to, you know, in the moment, um, uh, you know, stay, uh, you know, keep the lead or, you know, stop surges uh, from those guys. And, you know, we do something called winning time every day. You know, we did it in the ballroom today. We did it yesterday in practice. You know, we ran a, you know, we ran an action that we ran against Houston uh, to get a three uh, earlier in the year. You know, but they're, you know, they're switching, uh, you know, really, really screwed us up there. And uh, they did a great job of just, you know, taking away the three-point line. Dan, to, to follow up, to follow up on uh, what you were just saying there, it seemed like their length and their athleticism outside affected you guys a lot in the second half. Offensively, you couldn't really get into stuff. Was that, was that kind of a big factor in the way you guys got bogged down there for a large portion of it? Yeah, I mean, we weren't as good. You know, we, obviously, we shot 51% from the field, you know, um, against a pretty good defensive team. So, you know, pr pretty good overall. Uh, we weren't going to shoot 60% in the second half. Team of that caliber and, and their length was going to make adjustments. You know, they were switching back and forth between that 2-3 matchup zone and, you know, and, and uh, 
you know, and then, and then the man where they switched some things with the one through four and then would flatten over with the five. So I think they did a good job of, uh, um, you know, they, they did a good job of, uh, you know, mixing up their defenses. And then we also, you know, I think what really hurt us on the perimeter was, you know, uh, and injury's not our excuse, but, you know, uh, if we have a healthy Hassan today, yeah, I, I think we could have put more pressure on the paint with, with, with posting him up. You know, physically, you know, he, uh, you know, he just didn't have it. And, um, you know, it was almost like, you know, took him out of the game in that last five minutes because I just, you know, my heart broke for him because he just couldn't, uh, couldn't, couldn't really go. Dan, as you look back at this, at this run, what are you going to remember the most? Oh, uh, you know, I'm going I'm to remember, uh, you know, Karan Iverson and uh, the way he's grown, you know, since he transferred from Memphis, the way he's developed his character as a man and the way, you know, he's changed the way people, you know, people view him. Uh, you know, he's now a champion and a winner. And, uh, you know, he's going to have, a, you know, an amazing, uh, I think, career in basketball and beyond now because uh, he's developed great habits as a man. And, uh, you know, I'm going to remember, you know, Hassan Martin, uh, you know, who's been a rock at his program. I mean, you don't get uh, a chance to coach a better person uh, than him. You don't get a chance to play with a better person than him. Uh, I'm going to think about those guys, you know. I'm going to think about the different points of this year uh, where, where where we had to fight back and show our resolve and resiliency and the strength of these men. It's uh, it's a special group. These these guys uh, did so much for our program, and uh, you know, um, couldn't be prouder. Thank you, gentlemen.